hopefully we can get this up. Okay, my volume is off. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Let me get this show on the road. Because I was super excited about doing this um, this broadcast tonight. What we're going to do is a tag. And um, hopefully y'all uh, learn some techniques that I just recently learned and super excited about doing it all. So uh, what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to show you a tag that I went ahead and pre-made. And this is the tag that we're going to do right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. So we have several techniques of um, embossing on here and um, learn how to do all this kind of stuff. For some reason, I'm. can you guys see? Okay, there it is. Okay. Um, see, um, you know, some embossing techniques that I just recently learned. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, we're going to make it on a three and a quarter tag by six, or no, it's three and an eighth by six and a quarter tag. And uh, we're going to need some embossing powder. And this is um, heat embossing, and you use this with a heat gun. So, and this is what we're going to be doing tonight. So we've got these different things. These are different, you know, for embossing. Also, we have embossing folders, too, if everyone's familiar with these. And this is called dry embossing. It's when you put your project inside here and run it through your Big Shot or your um, Cuddle Bug or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on actually some of the embossing. And the first thing that we're going to emboss is a key. And this is a um, silver key on an S-hook. And I'm going to go ahead and emboss this. And this is super fun to do. So I'm going to get out my little plate. And I'm going to get some um, embossing, um, an embossing ink pad. And usually they're pretty clear so um, you don't pick up any other colors. So what we're going to do is go ahead and I just put my stuff right on my pad and I just start inking. And so I just get it really juicy so it's kind of, you know, we want it wet. Right like that. Okay. And then I am going to put um, some white embossing powder on here. Do, 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 do. Let me pull this out. Cover this up. And then I'm just going to sprinkle all this embossing powder on here. And we're going to really cover it. Be real generous with it so you guys can pour it all back in. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing. So our embossing powder is in here. And I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. And then I have my um, little box that I'm going to emboss with. And actually I have my tweezers right here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And we're just going to lay it there. And then I'm going to emboss it. And y'all are going to hear a little bit of noise. But that's okay because it's all being embossed. And these get really hot while, they're, um, while the embossing powder is melting. But it comes out so pretty. And then, so that is here. It's got to cool off for a minute. Y'all can see how white this turned. And that is from the embossing powder. Hot. And then you can see the other side right here. And if you want, this is kind of, you know, it's kind of like shabby chic. Can you turn the camera? Okay. Towards me? Okay, right there. Is that good? Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't know. No, my camera is um, it's already mounted. Is 
It's just a little box. That's what it is. Okay. So anyway, this is cooled off a little bit. So you can hold this and touch it. So now it just is this key right here in my hand. Let's go right here. So and if you and so you can see the shabbiness on it. Okay. And then if you wanted more of a, a metal look, you can also take a um, piece of um, sanding paper and scuff it up a little bit. And we can do that too. So let me move this. Because you can do whatever you want to do. You can kind of like scuff it up a little bit. And let some of the actual metal show come through. So it looks really old and shabby. So anyway, here, this is how this looks. So I just ran some a real light piece of um, sandpaper over it. Okay, so that we're going to set aside. And also, I'm going to put this. Also, I want to emboss this little angel right here. And I don't particularly care for the color because I like this embossing. So we're going to emboss this too and tone down this um, gold on here. So here again, we're just going to um, dip her in our ink pad and just kind of get her all in there. And hopefully, you know, if it misses some, that's okay too. That's part of the fun of being able to um, do this embossing stuff. So it's pretty fun. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set her in this embossing powder and then I'm going to sprinkle some more on it. Okay. I'm having a hard time um, hear, writing or reading what y'all are saying when I'm trying to concentrate on this. So if I'm not ignoring you, I'm just trying to do this job for you. So anyway, I've got her all covered up, and then I'm going to get my box out again, and then I'm going to just kind of knock off some of the embossing powder on here. Just put a little bit, sprinkle a little bit over here. Right like that. And then I'm going to put her right there. And then we're going to emboss this little angel. Okay, good, good. Oh my goodness, this looks so awesome. It's too hot to pick up, but if you can see her right there, and you can really see how her face comes out too, if the camera is focusing. focusing there. But anyway, this turned out really cute. So I'm going to set this aside. It's pretty hot still. Oops. Oh, hot. Oh, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. Put this right there. Okay, so that, oh, I've got a couple more embossing things to do. I'm going to go ahead and get all my embossing done um, at first. And then here we're going to emboss some um, chipboard. And I've written out the letter um, love so it can go on our tag. But this is just regular chipboard right here that you can emboss. So let me, uh, and those I'm going to do in this pink embossing powder right here. So let me just, I need to first get rid of this other color. Let me put this 
back in here. If you don't have one of these like little trays for your um, embossing powders and stuff, you can also use a paper plate and that works just as fine. Okay. Put my lid. So I'm going to, oops, I left a little bit in here. So here is my L, and I'm going to use pink. And then my O. I'm hoping you guys can hear me because I, I'm trying to talk to you and whatnot. So I don't know if you can hear me. So if I don't say anything, that just means I don't know if you're talking to me or, or what. I mean, I'm reading your chats, but I don't know if you can hear me. And I apologize for that. I don't know why it's not. Kind of had a hard time getting signed on tonight. But... Um, if you don't hear me now, hopefully that when after I, you know, we get done with the video and everything like that, you'll be able to hear me when you watch the video again, you know, on new screen. Okay, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to, um, I've got my little love here and I'm going to shake off some of the um, embossing powder. I'm going to put it right there. I'm just going to do one at a time so they don't fly over each other. Okay. And I'm going to just set that right there. And I'll show it all to you all at one time. I did, you know, embossing is kind of new to me too, or it's kind of new to me, and I think it's been so, it's been fun doing it. You know, this kind of embossing. I've never embossed metal before or done anything like that, and I really like the way it it comes out. I like how it's kind of kind of splotchy in places because the way that it's melting on here. It's kind of cool. I gotta re-emboss my L again because I embossed the, the wrong side. I guess we just can't make up the letters as we go. They have to be the right letters. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one again. So we have our embossed letters, and I'll bring them up so that y'all can see them. So there is our embossed letters. 
and that is a, um, a kink. So, okay. So we got all of this embossing done for as the embellishments that we're going to be putting on our tag tonight. So the next thing that we're going to do is we get to start stamping. And um, move my stuff out of the way. What we're going to do is I'm going to take this um, this um, tag, which is the um, three and an um, eighth by six and a quarter tag. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use my um, archival ink on it with a big old um, stamp on the back. Okay, so I need to make sure that my right, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to ink up my stamp. Get it nice and juicy. And then I'm going to stamp, stamp it. Okay. Do it again. And I'm just going to bring it right over here and stamp it. So there is our um, stamp image here, which is our background stamp. And then the next thing that um, we're going to do is um, I don't think I do have my mic turned down. I think everything is, is good. Some of y'all can hear me and some of you can't. I'm, I apologize for that. I'm trying to. I'm not sure where I would turn up my mic. On, um, I have this new Windows 8 and um, new computer and stuff, and I'm not quite sure where I would turn it up at. And this is my, you know, that. So anyway, the next thing that I'm going to, let me dry this and make sure this is, we don't want it to run, just dry this off real quick. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to also do another little bit of um, stamping. And I have this heart that I'm going to stamp with, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my, um, oops, embossing ink again. And, and then I'm going to put stamps, uh, the stamp in random places. Y'all can see. Okay. So as you can see, I've got it stamped in rent in different places. And then I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm still going to go ahead and do the, um, um, the pink again. So I'm going to put this on here. And then just make sure that it gets on there all the way. And then I'm going to just kind of tap it off. So as you can see, here's these hearts right here. <laughs> I have a couple embossing pads, so not all of them look that clean either. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heat set this. And 
know, so now we've got our embossing done here. And I'm just going to kind of let it cool off a minute. Okay. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to spray it. And I, I'm going to spray it with my Lindy's, and I'm also going to spray it or um, use a um, ink pad on it. So let me get my little box out here so I can spray it. And I'm using this Lindy's, which is called the Plumeria Pink. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to lift it up here and I'm going to spray it. And then I'm just going to wipe it clean. So, and this is called um, re resist. This is another type of embossing where you, um, the uh, embossing powder is going to resist your inks. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add another color to this. Okay. And I'm going to use this blue right here. Okay. And which is the um, Broken China from Tim Holtz. Let me set this aside. And I'm just going to go into in a, um, just a dabbing, rubbing kind of a motion. So if y'all can see that. And then if you all have seen my other stuff, you know I really like to um, do my edges real heavy. Okay, so there's that. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to do, so we've got um, two, so far, two different types of embossing on here. We've got, um, we've got the, um, our stamps that we put in the background, then we've embossed with our um, powders. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a dry embossing. And that's where I'm going to put this into my folder. And so we've got several techniques on one, um, uh, on one tag. So I thought that's pretty cool. I don't hear anything. On, if you're talking to me, I don't hear anything. So this is dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this embossing folder right here and I am going to put my tag in here. Just like that. And then I'm going to run it through my um, Big Shot. Let's see there. And I'm going to just go right through there. Then I'm going to just do the, the very end of my tag. So now you can see the um, the dry embossing in here. And then you can see it on the opposite side as well. There, you can see it right there. Okay. So
so now what we get to do is we get to um, decorate. Okay, so I've got several things out that I was going to decorate this with. And thank you. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I have some, um, some trim that I wanted to use. And I've been on this kick about not putting anything straight here lately. Everything has been kind of on the side. And this is some lace that I got from MV Treasurista. And so I'm just going to put it off to the side like this. And this has some real pretty um, flowers on the front of it right there. So this is very pretty. Thank you. And let's see. Let's get that going. I forgot to turn on my heat gun. I mean my um, glue gun. So that's okay. It won't take but just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this right about here. And set this aside. Okay. And so I always kind of like to lay things out to see how I'm going to, uh, to like it. So I'm going to put this right here. Oh, you know what? we got to do another embossing thing. I forgot. We have a flower to emboss. That would be kind of cool because I wanted to do that. Okay. So while my heat gun or while my glue gun is heating up, we can emboss another flower. I have this white flower that I wanted to emboss. So um, we can do that one. And what you have, to, what we can do on this one, I think I'm going to do the pink. Everything is pink tonight for some reason. I do have white. Well, it's all we're going to do is um, we're going to ink up our, um, just the tips of our flowers. Okay. So we just put it right, right on the tip. So just like that. Get it nice and juicy. And then we can dip it into our embossing powder. Okay. Okay. And then I want to get it all, sprinkle it off, tap it off. We want to make sure that we tap off the excess. Okay. So that's what the, the, the top is going to look like, if you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and emboss it. So we have that. And all it is up here is just the very tips of the um, flowers that I wanted to have embossed. Oh, thank you. Isn't that cool? So there's that one. So we've done a lot of stuff tonight. I'm super excited about it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sniff off my bottom put it right there. And then so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I have these little flowers right here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to them. And then I'm going to put this one here and then I'm going to add this one. like that. So that's, I'm just layering these flowers right here. Because what I want to do with this is I want to put my embossed flower right there. If you can see that. Okay. So let me go ahead and get that. Just stick that one right down in the center. So we have this flower. Pretty cool. Okay, so now back to the tag. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down my, um, my glue. Now, like I said, I, I'm just doing it on the edge. 
or you know, doesn't go straight. And I kind of crunch it up so that it doesn't just lay down flat. I like it to um, be um, kind of gathered a little bit. And so I'm going to go ahead and just trim off my edge right here. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and then do the same side. So I have that right there. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I am going to um, add um, my flowers. So I'm going to put a flower right here. I'm just going to put it right there. And then I'm thinking that I'm going to do another one. Just like that. And then I'm going to put this pink one right here. Well, first I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little um, angel face right here that we embossed earlier. I just, I'm going to put her. I think that's all I'm going to need. I may not need that other flower. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put her down. And I'm going to put her just right here. So as you girls can see, right like that. You guys can see the ink. Oh, there's still room for it. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add our love on here. And that's going to go right here. I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Now we have our embossed love on here. This is um, a really beautiful lace. I love this lace. I've used this lace on um, when I alter um, when I alter anything, but I use it a lot when I alter my um, my frames and then um, um, little baby. Um, photo out or um, mini albums and things like that. This is a beautiful, beautiful lace. Okay. And Misty does carry it in her shop. So, okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I don't think I need this flower. I, I, do, I just, I don't think I do. So, do you guys like it there? I, I think it covers up my, um, I, I think the two is just fine. So anyway, the so next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add this little, um, these little roses here, possibly, we we'll have to see if they come out like I'm wanting them to. Yes, they'll come out. Okay, so let me just stick a little bit of glue in here. And I'm going to put those, just kind of tuck those down in there. And then bring them up a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, 
so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, add some fibers to um, the top of my tag. And that's where I'm going to add my key that we in, embossed earlier. So I have some fibers right here, and I'm going to string them. I'm just going to put it on a, one of them. And I think I put it on this red one. And I'm just going to twirl, um, just put it in, just like that. And then I'm going to tie a little knot so it doesn't come off. So then we have that just like that. And then what we'll do is we're going to take some more fibers and then we'll just add to the, to the rest. Okay, and I'm going to put them through here. And I'm just going to tie a little knot. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I just I'm just going to trim off my fibers a little bit. Just like that. And then sometimes what I'll do too is when I have quite a bit of fibers, I'll put a little bit of glue on the side here just to kind of keep them intact. So they're just coming off the side. So, and then another thing that I like to do for Valentine's um, is I like pearls on things too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, you know, let the pearls drop and um, then add them, just kind of tack, tack them down a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, put a little bit of glue right under here. And then I'm going to bring it up to about here. Just kind of tuck it in. Let's see. And then bring some around down to here. little dot right here. You you can't even see this glue because you just need just a tad just to hold the pearls up. And then I'm going to swing it around here. I need a tad right there. And then bring it here. this off. So anyway, here is the tag. It's completed. And um, I hope you like it. Bring it down here a little bit better so you can see it. Hopefully y'all can see it fairly well. Let me bring it up this way. I don't like that being me. There, that's better. Um, 
my, um, oh, so you guys can see it? Well, that would be nice if y'all could see it, huh? There you go. So there it is. So I hope you guys try it. Um, if you want, we have time, we could do another um, card that I made, too, if you guys want to. Thank you. But I had um, made this other card, and I'm not sure if you guys are interested in doing another card. It's a real simple, basic card. So if you guys want to do that, just say yes, no, or maybe, and if not, then I thank you for um, attending the class, and um, I really apologize for, you know, the, the troubles that we had at the beginning, but it's all, it all worked out. So, oh, okay, so you want to see another card. Okay, good. So anyway, so that's that tag. The next we're going to do this little card right here, and this is um, <clears throat> embossing as well. And I don't know if you can see it very well, the embossing on here, if you can see it. Let's see. Oh, there. You might be able to see it. There. It's very light embossing. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that one. I mean, that's just a real simple so what I did was I took a um, piece of cardstock and uh, okay thank you um, it will still be recorded and y'all can see it um, later if you want but this was a fun card this is an eight and a half by eleven cardstock and I just cut it right in half bye Kathy I mean yeah yeah, Kathy. And then so, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it like this as a flip. I think, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to open it from the side. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I've got, I've already pre-cut everything, and I don't remember the dimensions. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to use this um, blue embossing with this stamp. And this is um, just a stamp that I have, and I'm going to stamp on the lighter blue of my um, card. So now I'm going to get out a different um, stamp pad for this one. And it, I don't know why I am, but it's just this one is this one's my real good one, yucky, yucky, yucky. But this one's good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to juice up my stamp. And I'm going to um, just randomly um, put um, the um, stamp the image on here in different sizes and whatnot. And then right here, get that up a little bit. And then we'll do a little one here. So that is um, a stamped image, and oh, I didn't um, clear my, I have to put this away. Hopefully this is not going to, okay. Let me clean this out a little bit. powder on here. And then kind of just put it in here and then tap it off. Oh, uh, I let it dry. It didn't dry. Let me do it the other side. Sorry. Because I forgot to um, 
stamp out my other powder. So we just stamped real again, real quick. It's going to be juicy. So hopefully this one will, yes it did. So when you stamp like this, there's an embossing on a card and if you get a little bit of um, embossing powder where you don't want it, you can just go take a um, little um, paintbrush and then just kind of clean up around the edges because whatever is on here will emboss. So use a um, little um, paintbrush. So you can see the embossing on here. And then I'm going to put this in my box box and we will emboss it. So here is the embossed flowers. You can see those. Cool. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is um, I'm going to get some ribbon and I'm going to um, go along right up here. Let me cut this off. And I'm going to um, just kind of use my ATG gun and I'm going to just put it on the back here. Make sure I'm nice and straight. Um, this ribbon to tie a bow. And so what, how I tie my bows is I take um, my ribbon and I don't tear it apart or cut it yet and I have two little loops. If you can see two little loops here and then I'm going to do it like I'm tying a shoe. And then I just bring them in and then I put it right here. like that. So here is my bow. <clears throat> and so I'm going to hot glue my bow down. No, not yet. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm going to add um, my card, this top card, to my background um, pa paper cardstock. So just go right along the edges. So 
and the excess um, tape runner got glue off of it. Then I'm going to just kind of even it up here and then put it down. Get my glue, my and I'm just going to tack this down right here underneath the um, ribbon, right there. So here's this, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add it to my. Um, my cardstock, just like that. Here, I'm going to add right here. Okay, so there's that. As you can see. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my bow. Just right here. There's a little bit too much glue. Okay, and then what I did was I had these. Um, Martha Stewart punches, <clears throat> and so I went ahead and I print, I punched out some um, butterflies to put on here as well. Okay, so I have three of them, so I'm going to just kind of layer them, move some of this stuff out of my way, and I'm going to put this one here. going to add the white one. And so there's my little butterfly. And then I have a piece of um, pearl. What did I do with them? I had some a little piece of pearl right here, and I'm going to layer them on here. Okay, I just snip that little guy off. And then, so I'm going to let that sit there for a minute, and then I have this, um, right here, where I'm going to say, make this into, let's say, a, a thank you card. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to stamp my image. powder again. Kind of shake it up a little bit. Since there was plenty in there, I didn't need to pour any out. Okay, or pour any in. Okay, and then my tweezers are right here. So I can shake it off. Actually, 
I, I think I need my, um, how come when everything's in front of you, you don't see it? <laughs> I'm going to brush off some of the excess um, embossing powder that we don't need on here. I'm going to put that right here. So let me add some hot glue. And everything that I'm using as far as like on top of my card or underneath my card stack is um, is chipboard. And I got that from um, Misty. She still has the medium weight or lightweight chipboard. So I'm going to put this little thank you right here. And then I'm going to add my butterfly. Hopefully right there. Okay, so that is our um, embossing on a card. So hopefully you guys can see it there. You can see it there. Thank you for um, watching. Um, and y'all tried the different types of techniques in um, embossing. It was really a lot of fun. And um, what I find the most enjoyment out of the embossing was taking a metal item and changing the, the look of it and the texture and whatnot. And um, it was a lot of fun. So y'all try embossing, and um, let's see how it goes. I'm sure you'll, you'll love it. So anyway, thank you so much again for um, stay for watching and um, staying with us while I kind of got everything together with the um, channel. I don't know why it didn't work very well in the beginning or I was having technical issues. But thank you for, for coming, and I really do appreciate you all being here. So thank you so much. See you later. Bye.